Spiky bits. Hey everybody, MBG here with a look at the new Tyranny Codex from Games Workshop. It's been about five or six years since the uh, last Tyranny Codex, which of course wasn't a hardback book and didn't have this fantastic art by uh, Raymond Swallen. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's already gotten, uh, I guess, universally panned on the internet, but then again, so was Tau, and so was Eldar, and so was a lot of things, and they all seem to be making up the meta right now, so who the heck knows what's going on with this? Uh, I flipped through it a little bit, and, uh, you know, I, I read a bunch of stuff, and uh, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure exactly how it all goes together yet, but I can, I can tell you one thing, the book is, uh, it's, really, it's, it's a really good read, and it's really nice. They changed the fluff a little bit here and there, but nothing too crazy, nothing, uh, nothing uh, super Matt Ward-ish to put people on tilt or anything like that. But, uh, you know, let's kind of take a look. Again, it's about a 104-page uh, uh, codex release. It is the hardcover. It's not quite as big as the Space Marine Codex, of course, but like I said, it is the uh, the normal the normal size for the uh, hardcover books. Uh, right here, kind of features the artwork, uh, some alternate artwork that I think was actually in a uh, one of the Apocalypse books uh, not too long ago, where it kind of features an Imperial world falling to the uh, the Tyranids, and it's basically in the end stages of the envelopment, the uh, digestation phase, I believe it's called. If we flip to the uh, table of contents here, you can kind of see that uh, you know it looks pretty much pretty much normal. Uh, about a hundred five page book, about you know thirty or so pages, twenty five pages of the actual bestiary, so to speak, uh, that goes over the different uh, the different unit entries and their special rules and things like that. And then it goes into the uh, basically the war gear section here, which is uh, weapons and biomorphs. Uh, of about 10 pages, and then the actual army list itself, about another 10 pages, and then the reference uh, guides in the back. So, very interesting stuff. Uh, you know, it's 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 pretty standard, and the, the difference with this is, it, speak, it you know, it features a lot of uh, spectacular artwork, and of course it's got the colorized versions of all the past unit entries and some newer stuff uh, here and there, just kind of depending on... Um, you know what you've seen in the past, and kind of, kind of some some of the newer units and things like that. Uh, just as a little spoiler alert, there are no models in this that don't have a kit, of course, because you know one of the big things with the Chapter House Studios was that they came out with um, you know artwork and, and units that didn't have a kit. The uh, uh, what is it? The uh, uh, Doom and Melanti and the Parasite both gone from this book. Uh, no models or anything for it. So, you know, uh, old one eyes back, which is kind of neat, and there's, you know, there's some other things here and there. You know, there's some psyche powers. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, spoiler alert again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Synapse does not give Eternal Warrior. That was just silly. That would pretty much make them the most brokenest thing ever. But there, there is some other good stuff in here that I think uh, once you start uh, combining things, you're going to see a lot of, this is, this in my prediction is going to be a very synergetic release. So you're going to need to use stuff in combination with other things to get the best desired results. And I think that's kind of what they had in mind. But we'll kind of see how it goes, you know, as we, uh, as, we as the meta develops and people kind of uh, develop a feel for, you know, what, what army lists are out there and things like that. So obviously there's the introduction section here and then it kind of gets into the actual fluff section, which again is about 30 pages or so. And that gets us to... The actual army, uh, the actual forces themselves, where it goes into each unit, some new rules they may or may not have, and you know other things like that. Okay, so after that, which I said was probably about thirty pages or so, you kind of get into the war gear section, which you know it isn't really war gear; it's kind of weapons and biomorphs. And there's some interesting uh, new special rules to kind of uh, wrap your, or I guess universal special rules, but only really for the the tyrants themselves to wrap your. Uh, uh, brain pan around, you've got the life terrain special ability, or universal special rule, and then you've got switch strike. There's also a few more uh, intermittent through here, but they they only per pertain to one particular thing, whereas these actually pertain, there's actually a, 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 a like a relic piece of war gear, which they call kind of something different, I'll show you that in a second. But the the really the, the only thing you have to uh, I guess read up on as far as universal special rules go is the shred ability is definitely key. Uh, there's a, there's a key piece of war gear that's uh, super good about that. Poison as well uh, definitely makes uh, an appearance in here. Armor being and flesh pain. Most people know what that does because just about every codex that's come out has had something for that. So there's not too many special rules, and a lot of stuff pretty much does what it used to do in the past. 
but now you're kind of looking at uh, just some tweaks here and there and some things like that. So as we get through this, you kind of see kind of the biomorph section. Then you get to the bio artifacts, which are basically the relics, so to speak, for the Tyranids. There's about five of those. Then you get into the powers of the hive mind section, which kind of shows you all the different things you can take there. Uh, it's it's very particular about what what uh, you know what psychic powers they can take and what they can't take, and I'll just let you guys discover that one because there's already some uh, lamenting and gnashing of teeth on the internet about that. Then you get into the showcase section where it shows you all the amazingly painted Tyranids and things like that, and a big piece of artwork here, or not really artwork, but a big piece where they show you, uh, you know, the Tyranids on the uh, the warpath there. I also wanted to show you where is it this piece right here. Very spectacular in the uh, the full eight eight and a half by eleven double page format centerfold. I get not really centerfold, but uh, dual fold out. I forget what they call that exactly. That's some pretty that's some pretty impressive artwork right there, and pretty much shows how you know the I guess middle battle stages of a, of an actual Tyranid invasion would go, where there's the atm atmospheric changes because of all the stuff that's going on as well, and then the lower I guess. Uh, uh, actual ground level stuff going on as well, and then you've got all the uh, the spores and things doing their thing. And this real quick too, wanted to show you some of the colorized versions of the actual unit entries, which I'm sure most of you have seen. This piece of artwork here it was definitely in the last uh, codex, and there it is uh, with a little color to it. So it's kind of nice to see that they've done this. Another neat little tidbit is on all the sprues. They're all copyrighted uh, 2013, which uh, definitely leads a lot of people to believe that they, these were kind of uh, maybe perhaps rushed into development or put on hold uh, because of the whole Chapter House case. But we don't really know. That's all speculation. Who, who really knows what goes on in the hive mind itself <laughs> at Games Workshop because that's uh, kind of how it seems to be sometimes. So here's the actual army list section where it kind of gives you the introduction and things like that and the war gear list and a few other things. And then it actually gets into each unit itself, which, you know, is about 10 pages or so, generally. About the same with every codex, except for Space Marines, which seems to be their, uh, you know, showcase uh, showcase army. And that's pretty much it for, for the codex review. And, and it's got the fold-out reference, reference section there. There are a few. Uh, they change the instinctive behavior charts. There's a warlord trait chart, of course. Then you've got your army special rules, which instinctive behavior, shadows in the warp, and synapse creature. Nothing too crazy. Um, most of the rumors on the internet, the early stuff, were false. And <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are just going to be upset in general because they expected all this OP stuff. When in actuality, it seems a like a more balanced and synergetic codex. And now you have to hunt and find exactly what to use and not necessarily have the stuff spoon-fed to you. What, you know, it, it is a hobby and everybody has their particular take on it. You got your ultra competitive players at one end and you have your super fluff bunnies at the other. And, you know, we all just kind of got to meet somewhere in the middle. And that's fine. Everybody's hobby is different and don't let anybody discourage you. Do your own thing and forge your own narrative, so to speak. So, like I said, that's pretty much it for this one. 105 page book. I think it retails for about $50. There's some limited edition versions for like a Honda or something like that. Honestly, you know, I, I think it's a good book. It's got plenty of fluff. Um, I'm, you know, if you're an Eternist, definitely, definitely pick this up. You're probably going to want one anyways, just so you can follow along with the new rules, because as much as we all think we know the rules, sometimes there's a, these very little nuances that we get wrong that cost us games, and nobody likes to lose on a technicality, so you don't, you don't want to be that guy. So that's pretty much it for this one. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, blog.spikybits.com, and make sure you listen to our weekly podcast, forgedarrative.com. Spiky Bits.